Okay, so we are going to look at conservation of momentum daily practice problem number one. So, a rifle with a mass of 2.2 kilograms fires a bullet with a mass of 50 grams or 0.05 kilograms. The bullet moves outward from the rifle and the recoil speed of the rifle is 3.36 meters per second. So that's the speed of the rifle moving in the opposite direction of the bullet. What is the velocity of the bullet as it exits the gun? Okay, so we have a system. And when we have a system, we have conservation of momentum, assuming there are no external influences on that system. So the first step in our process is to define the system. The system is made up of the bullet and the gun. So they're the two objects that are interacting, the two objects whose momentum is related. All right, so when we deal with a system, we want to think about conservation, thinking about the idea that the final momentum is equal to the initial momentum. So we need to define our initial and final. So what happens before the collision, before the interaction, right before it, and what happens after? So before the interaction, well, we have the gun and the bullet, and it's kind of just sitting there, okay? And then after the interaction, we're told that the gun moves off and the bullet moves off. Okay, we're going to um, suggest that it's purely horizontal in this case. Okay, so now we define each element of the system. So this is the point of the collision from that case to that case. So let's define each element. Okay, well, we have the mass of the gun, initial. We have the velocity of the gun, initial. We have the mass of the bullet, initial, and the velocity of the bullet, initial. All right, and the same is true in the final condition. We have the mass of the gun, final, the velocity of the gun, final, the mass of the bullet, final, and the velocity of the bullet, final, after the collision. So let's look at what these values are given to us in the problem and the ones that we don't know. So the mass of the gun, it tells us that the mass of the gun is 2.2 kilograms, and that's true for both the initial and the final condition. The problem doesn't indicate that any mass has been lost in either of these two objects. It says it fires a bullet of 50 grams or 0.05 kilograms. So the mass of our bullet is going to be 0.05 kilograms, both in the initial and final condition. Okay, it tells us that the gun has a recoil speed of 3.3 three, six meters per second. So recoil after the collision has happened. So that's in the final, 3.36 meters per second. And as I've drawn it, that's in the negative direction. What about in the initial condition? Well, they're just sort of sitting there. So our initial velocity for the gun is not doing anything, and the initial velocity of the bullet, well, it's not doing anything either. So our initial velocities are zero. We want to know how fast the bullet moves off. That's what we're looking for. And based on the picture I've drawn, we expect it to be to the right. So positive, non-zero. That's our prediction. Okay, so let's look at the momentum relationship, the conservation. The final momentum is going to be made up of the final momentum of the bullet plus the final momentum of the gun. And the initial momentum is made up of the initial momentum of the bullet plus the initial momentum of the gun. Well, final momentum of the bullet is the mass of the bullet times the final velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the gun times the final velocity of the gun. We know our mass doesn't change between initial and final. And for the initial, it's the mass of the bullet times the initial velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the gun times the initial velocity of the gun. We have all that information in our list. So the mass of the bullet, 0 0.05, times the velocity of the bullet, I don't know, so that stays the same variable. Plus the mass of the gun, 2.2, times the velocity of the gun, negative 3.36. And that's going to equal, well, 
This should be pretty straightforward. We don't have to put in all the numbers. Our velocities are both zero. So the initial momentum has to also be zero. All right, so now we simply can solve for it, recognizing that if the initial momentum was zero, then the momentum of the two objects must be the same. And mathematically, that's how we will examine it. So we bring this whole term to the other side, and we have 0 0.05 times the velocity final of the bullet. And I have a subtraction here, so I can add it to the other side. And we have 2.2 times 3.36, 7.392. So 7.392 negative on this side, added it to the other side. And we find that the velocity of the bullet is equal to 147.8 meters per second. Pretty slick and pretty fast. Much quicker than doing the force analysis. A very powerful idea, this law of conservation. So just as a reminder, we identify that system and what objects are in the system. We then examine that collision. What happens right before? What happens right after? Our final equal to our initial. Our momentum at one time equal to the momentum at another time. Defining momentum for the individual objects within the system, the properties of momentum, and then using that relationship to find our answer. Good job.